Hi, I'm mom. And I'm the student. So tip number one is to find some hobbies. Um, after your student leaves for college, um, it'll free up some time for you to do some things that you haven't had time to do in a while because you've been focused on being a parent. So tell them what kind of hobbies you did. Well, I really like to read, and so that's something that I really hadn't done for fun in a long time, so I started reading more. Um, I love to scrapbook, and so that was a fun time to get some pictures out of her and, and remember some of the fun times that we've had. So tip two is set realistic expectations about communication. It was really helpful for us to share that we wanted her to come home um, one weekend per month because we knew we'd be missing her. And we really tried hard not to call her every minute of orientation to find out what was going on. Tip number three is to stay informed about as much as you can on campus. There's a lot of good uh, social media accounts. Facebook has a parent and family relations page that will give you lots of good information. And so pay attention to those newsletters that you get emailed and that sort of thing. Tip number four, let your students solve their own problems. It's really tempting to want to swoop in and fix things for them, but it's really a good time for them to develop that independence and learn to solve their own problems. You did a really good job with that. Hey. <laughs> Tip number five, one bad grade is not the end of the world. Um, it may cause you to go into panic if your student has a bad quiz grade or something like that, but it's never too late for them to improve their study skills and to recover. And it's kind of expected that there will be a little bit of failure in college and that's just a time for them to, to grow. Good thing I had zero bad grades, am I right? Uh-huh. And those are your five tips for the parent of an incoming freshman from a parent perspective. You killed it, Mom.